Hello, my name is Mr. Kress and I'm the video production teacher at Senior High School. Uh, video production is an intro course where students are able to check out video cameras and they learn about proper videotaping techniques. They go and they do assigned videos, they bring their videos back into the classroom and they edit it using our editing software at our classroom. They do video projects such as music videos, we do green screen projects, and we do studio work. We have a full service studio here that has a green screen, teleprompters, and all the editing software in the studio just like you would if you go into any actual new studio. Again, video production is an intro level course, so any student can take it. I get ninth through 12th graders in that class. you learn some great skills that you'll use your entire life. Uh, we make step stools, we make pens on a lathe, we make spindles, we make bowls, and we also do some CNC woodworking. You see an example of that behind me on the wall here. Um, just about anything your imagination can create, we can do it with wood in here. Blythe Barber and I am one of the foods teachers here at Senior High School. We have three classes of foods. We have Foods 1, Foods 2, and International Foods. As a freshman you can sign up for Foods 1 and Foods 2. Foods 1 we work on various areas like fruits and vegetables, baking, quick breads, cookies, um, cheese, milk, dairy, things like that and learn your basic information on how to work with your recipes and read them and follow them. In Foods 2, we go into meat in an extensive area of cooking with pies and cakes and fancy desserts. And in international cooking, we cook from all over the world, various different recipes from all the countries. We also have other classes, and those are for sophomores, juniors, and seniors that you might want to consider. And those are our college credit um, classes. And those are awesome to be able to take if you are thinking of going on to college, and especially if you want to become a teacher. I'm Mr. Kress, and I am the CAD teacher at Senior High School. CAD is an introductory course where we learn two types of drafting. We learn how to do technical drafting like engineers do, and we also learn how to do architectural drafting like architects do. We design all kinds of different things in the CAD class, including parts and machines. Pretty much anything that you use in the world today was designed in a CAD system by an engineer at some point, whether it's electrical or mechanical. The architectural portion of the class, we design homes. So your final project will actually be to design an entire floor plan. If you would like to take this class, it is available to anybody, 9th through 12th grade, and you will be doing things that engineers and architects do in their daily life. Small Engines is a course we offer at Senior. It explores the theory, maintenance, diagnostics, and service of outdoor power equipment. Uh, equipment we typically work on include push and riding lawnmowers, pressure washers, tillers, weed trimmers, and weed blowers. Areas the class focuses on is safety, careers in transportation, engine operation, compression, fuel, governor and electrical systems, including lubrication systems, basic maintenance, troubleshooting, and diagnosing. If you enjoy this class and would like to take, uh, or would like to further your knowledge and skills in the transportation industry, take auto care and maintenance.
In this class, we look at the automobile from the perspective of the automotive consumer. We explore the theory, maintenance, and basic diagnosis and servicing of the subsystems that make up the automobile. The class also looks at the latest technology in the automotive industry, available careers, as well as the purchasing and financing that goes along with owning an automobile. If you enjoy this class, you can advance your knowledge and skills in the automotive diagnostics and automotive chassis classes. Both classes look at the automotive from the technician's perspective. In automotive diagnostics, we explore engine repair and performance with an emphasis on electricity and computer diagnosis. In automotive chassis, we explore deeper into brakes, tires, steering, suspension, wheel alignments, and transmissions. Both classes also address the skills needed to be successful as a technician in today's industry. I'd like to talk about in the facts area is parenting. Parenting is a one semester course that provides students with knowledge and basic skills and attitudes needed to become responsible and considerate caregiver. The course examines personal readiness to become a caregiver, explores issues related to raising healthy children, being a positive adult role model, and provide practical experience with children. As you can see here, the students also get to check out these real life babies that that's an assignment where they will cry, you have to change their diapers, and that's one of the big assignments of parenting. Another big assignment in the parenting class is the empathy bellies, where students will actually check out a 25 pound fake stomach that they will wear so it'll simulate what it's like to be nine months pregnant with a baby. So that is, so they will walk around school, walk around at home with this empathy belly for one whole day just to get a feel of what it's like to be nine months pregnant. The first two business classes I would like to talk about are Keyboarding Plus and Microsoft Word. In Keyboarding Plus, a student comes in and learns how to basically type quickly and efficiently. Everything is done on computers now, so students, as you go through your high school career and post high school career, you will be typing, and in this class you will learn how to type quickly to get things done more efficiently. The other class that freshmen can take is Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is, focuses on Microsoft Word using clip art, setting up columns and tables, and you also get to do things such as using Excel, PowerPoint, email, and internet in the relationship to Microsoft Word. The next class I'd like to talk to you about is Introduction to Business. In this course, we'll introduce students to the world of business. Well over half of careers out there in our world today are related to the business or marketing world. The major units covered in this course will include business, owning and operate your own business, marketing, advertising, economics, banking services, credit, accounting, and the role of consumer in the marketplace. You will do such things as create your own business and come up with a business plan for that business. The last class I want to talk about in the business education area is multimedia. Multimedia is a one semester course that gives you applied learning credit like almost all the other classes, or this class will also give you a fine arts credit if that is what you choose. In multimedia, you will be doing such things as photo editing, web design, video editing, visual presentations, and such things as you can see here, creating your own website, making your own games using a program called Game Maker, so you get to program and design your own game. So this is a class recommended for those of you looking for a future in web design, graphic design, game design, video production, or any other variations. Joe Connolly. I teach metals and welding here at Senior High School. Uh, in here we have uh, many new machines that are working into the 21st century. We have a laser, we have plasma cam that will cut out steel and uh, different shapes. We have a new vinyl cutting machine so we make stickers and uh, quotes for the walls for uh, all of Senior High. We have many types of welding. Much of this leads up to college welding classes so you can get 11 college credits uh, through NICC in this classroom while you're still in high school. And so that's almost a whole semester of, of college by the time you graduate. I'm Mr. Eimers and uh, I teach uh, MS Word. I have a lot of uh, incoming freshmen that are in my MS Word class and it's a really good class. Uh, teaches the, uh, all the students uh, 
application of MS Word and we get into a little bit of PowerPoint. But mainly, we go through the whole application of uh, MS Word with 2016. And I think the students, freshmen, uh, by the end of the semester, they really feel like it's a class that, that uh, really helps them learn the entire application. In the Electricity Engineering and Power class, you are provided with an introduction to electrical and energy systems, history, current trends, renewable and non-renewable resources, and power applications. The Electricity course will give you an in-depth opportunity to understand how we utilize electricity as well as provide hands-on projects allow you to build and design circuits in creating new technology. All right, Construction One is a class that explores the careers and skills needed to work in a construction industry. The class focuses on safety, hand and power tools, blueprint reading and measurement, estimating and budgeting, surveying and building layout, concrete, rough framing of walls, roof systems and stairs, and also exterior finishes. This class also explores new technology in the construction industry, and if you enjoy this class, you can advance your knowledge and skills by taking Construction 2. Construction 2 explores electricity, plumbing, HVAC, insulation and efficiency, drywall, and interior finishes. If you enjoy taking Construction 1 and 2, then there's an opportunity for you to apply your knowledge and skills to build a house from the foundation up. In partnership with NICC, you can build a house while in high school. By completing this course, you'll also be eligible for 12 college credit hours while learning valuable skills for your future. Hello again. I'd like to thank you for watching this video today. And before the video ends, I want to talk to you about one more set of classes that has not been discussed in the video so far. That set of classes is dual credit classes. If you don't know what a dual credit class is, a dual credit class is a class that you take in high school and you get your high school credit for, but you also get college credits for. And the nice thing is, those college credits come at no cost to you. In the area of career and technical education, we offer several classes that you get the high school credit and the college credit for. So what I'd like to do is take a look at the list of those classes now and explain each one. In the career and technical education area of family consumer science, we offer several college credit classes. As you see here on the list, there are four classes that have to do with childcare. The first one's child health, safety and nutrition, and you get three college credits for that class. The next is infant and toddler care and education, and you get three college credits for that class. The next one is early childhood curriculum, which is three college credits. And the last one in the area of family consumer sciences is child growth and development, which is three college credits. So if you were to take all of the child development classes in family consumer sciences, you could, get, you could earn 12 college credits with no cost to you. The next one is our nursing program. We offer a certified nursing aid program, which consists of several classes. And once you get through all those classes, each of which has college credits associated with it, you can graduate from high school with a, with a certified nursing aid diploma. You could go right from high school and go right to work as a nurse. The next two classes are in the area of business education. Pre-employment strategies, which is three college credits, and customer service strategies, which is three college credits. So again, you get the high school credit and those college credits if you take those classes. You can take one of the classes or you can take both. And finally, in the area of industrial technology, we have several classes that you can get college credits for. The first one is machine operations. This is a manufacturing class where you would get your college credit and also three, or excuse me, you get your high school credit and also three college credits. 
The next two you actually take together at the same time, the basic gas metal arc welding and the flame plasma cutting fundamentals class. Those you take at the same time, they're a year long course when you take them together. And when you take them both together, you get four college credits. And finally, the last one industrial technology offers is the Construction 2 Lab. That is actually taught at NICC. You would drive out to NICC every day during fifth, sixth, and seventh hour, and you would actually build a house all year long with the NICC carpentry program. If you were to complete that, you would gain 13.5 college credits at no cost to you. All of these classes listed here, most of them are semester long. You can pick and choose which ones you want, but all of them, again, have college credits associated with them at no cost to you. So I wanna thank you all for watching this video. If you have any questions about the college credit classes or any other classes that you've seen in this video, please don't hesitate to talk to uh, any CTE instructor at the high school, the teacher that's in your room now, or any guidance counselor. Thank you.